All right, we're gonna shoot this video here. We're gonna show you how to basically, if you notice here, we're not using any uh, drop sticks or any uh, uniseals or anything. We're going right through the tank and here's our filter. And if you notice the blue pecs, that's gonna keep the filter on the bottom. On these small tanks, sometimes they will rise. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. This is the filters we make in house here. Basically, it's uh, a little dirty here, but yeah, this is the uh, this is the filter that we have. It's a three eighths tubing here. I'm going to show you how we start. First, we're going to go ahead and drop our tube in here. We're going to mark it to the bottom of this lip. Okay. Then we're going to take it out. Here's our mark. We're gonna go ahead and take it to the bottom here. And we're gonna put a mark basically right here where the tube ends. Okay, so this portion here is gonna hit the top of our tank. This is where our pipe ends. Don't use a uh, circular saw or anything because you'll get, you know, fine uh, debris in there. Just go ahead and just cut it with your PEX cutter. And then go ahead and cut a bunch of small pieces. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and drill our hole, just like this one right here, right? We'll go ahead and drill this in. That's a unit bit, and it's a half inch, half inch hole there. So then we're going to go ahead and take our little torch. They get hot and we zoom in here. I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up till we start seeing. So it melts around there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our hose. Just stick it through. All right, we're gonna keep fitting it through. All right, now that we have it fed through. Zoom out. We go ahead and grab the hose. We're gonna feed our PEX pipe in. Feed our PEX pipe in here. We cut it so we can feed it back into the tank. We're gonna stick our hose on. Now there's no clamp, there's no, no pressure on there. So these barbs stick on pretty tight. All right. Then we're gonna drop it into the tank. And now that it's into the tank, we're gonna yank up on it. Boom. See how stiff that pipe got? And this sucker is not gonna leak, it is. It is tight in there. So that's how we go ahead and do our, our drop sticks. We make, you know, we put our filters in there. Instead of using a drop stick, you use a flexible tubing so the water can slosh around all day long. It's not gonna flex or break anything. And we're gonna run lines all the way till we have to run them with no fittings on them. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out. Keep on spraying.